Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our ASP.NET Core tutorial. Part of this video, I am going to create my first application using this command prompt. For doing the changes, I am going to use this Visual Studio code. So not only the Visual Studio code, we can use any editor, even Notepad also we can use. So definitely I will explain or else I will show the demo. And next I am going to explain what are the topics I am going to cover. First, I plan to create the application using this .NET CLI command. Then I will do the changes using this Visual Studio code. First, let me open this command prompt. So make sure you should install this latest version of ASP.NET Core SDK 6.0 in your machine. Otherwise, it won't support. If you want to verify the version, you have to give this command .NET version. Okay, if it's installed, it will show 6.0.300. Okay, once it's done, uh, we have to select our path. So inside this LAN core, I am going to create my path. First core app. So this is my path. Let me copy this folder path. Now I am trying to open from here. Okay. So here I am going to create the application. For basically creating the application, we have the CLI command dot net new. So after that, we have to proceed with our template name. Basically, if you are developing the application using this Visual Studio, so we can see what are the templates are available. But if you are doing something the command prompt, the same way we can use just to give the ender. So now it will show the available templates. So first you can see this ASP.NET Core web app. Here the short name is Razor and web app. Inside that we have the commands, not a command, so tags, web, mbc, razor pages. Similar way we can see the different application templates. So anyway, I am going to create an mbc application. So our command name is .NET the new so after that we have to mention our tag name okay if you are creating empty web application you're supposed to give this web so I am adding this MEC application so I am provided this MEC tag so see the template ASP.NET Core web app the model view controller was created successfully and it's processing for post creation of actions so restored the required uh, dependencies so our application is created now let me go to the path see now we have all the files like a controller model view and www root even this solution cs forge page and a json file program.cs so everything was there now let me try to open the application using this visual studio code So in the VS code, just go to the file and here we can see this open folder. So our application name is first core app. So let me select it. So it will ask, yes, I trust the others, trust folders and enable all the features. Okay, see our application is opened in the Visual Studio code and here I am trying to run the application so let me go to the new terminal for running the dotnet core application we have the command dotnet run so now you can see the building in progress so basically it will take 15 to 30 seconds of time Okay, the build is completed. You can see the output. So our HTTPS URL is running in the port number of 7069. And this normal one HTTP URL is the 5128. So let me use this one 7069. So local goes 7069. 
see our application is loading the first one is our application name after that the home page actually we are in the home page so when I'm clicking this privacy page it's straight direct into the privacy now we can do our first changes in the application so let me go to the view first let me go to the controller in the controller I am going to do the changes in the home page so so this is our view so so this is the action result returning the view for home so let me go to this home folder this index.cshtml is our actual cshtml page so instead of welcome I am going to give a welcome to Hira Techies okay fine so I am just saved the page and going to try to refresh the page okay so basically the changes are not reflected if you want your change once again we have to stop running for stop running we have to give control C so it stopped again I am trying to run the application dot net run so again it's creating the build so the problem is for every time if you do like this it is completely waste of the time okay so anyway we have to see the output okay see now our changes are reflected so avoiding this one uh, we have to add this uh, runtime add race runtime compilation so adding this one first we have to include this new get package so let me copy this URL so it contains the new get package related information okay see so if you are using this package manager in the visual studio application you can use this one and if you want to use the dot and cla then you have to use this command so let me copy this one i'm going to the application i'm going to stop here i am adding this package see now oh, the changes are included and the next thing is I just go to this program.css so in the top of that we can see like uh, builder.services dot add controllers with views here we need to add one more line so my I'm already having in my notepad okay we how to include add racer runtime compilation let me copy and paste here okay we have done it now I am going to run the application once again again the build gets started okay build is completed now we can verify okay our application is loaded here I am trying to make some changes the same home page instead of welcome to Nigra Techies welcome to dotnet core series okay I'm just refreshing the screen see the changes are instantly reflected and also I'm going to give one more tag testing so it's reflected okay this is all about the creating application using this command prompt and doing the changes using this visual studio code and if you want to get some more details about this dotnet core you have to open this link so here you can see the complete tutorial so now I am going to create one more application using this command prompt and trying to make the changes using this notepad so without visual studio code we can do everything I am just to start the procedure is same again I am creating one more folder first core app one so here 
I mean in the CLA so once the folder is created I'm going to copy this folder path now let me go to the command prompt here let me open this folder okay again I'm giving the command dot net new and our template name is MVC enter okay great our application is running mode okay now okay great our application is created we can check in the folder yes the files are available instead of opening in the visual studio code i am running the application through the command prompt itself dot not run here you can see the application is build started okay great again the our reward is 7298 7298 so our application is running you can see the application name the first core app one here I am going to do some changes using this notepad let me open this views inside the views we have this index page I am editing using this notepad plus plus okay it's just to open welcome to NT so I am just saved and trying to refresh it's not reflected the procedure is same again I need to enable this runtime compilation I am copying the same command so let me go to the command prompt here I am stop running the application and trying to install this package so the package is included let me run the application once again dot net run okay our application is running mode 7298 I think they were the same yeah fine see our changes are reflected and uh, now I'm going to make some changes in the notepad itself check keys just a refreshing Uh, because uh, we have to do one more changes in the program that is that one is I just to forget it so let me go to the program file again I am editing using this plus plus only it's added so anyway this is the first time so I have to rerun the application once again okay our changes are reflected let me do some changes from the notepad itself okay saved the changes let me just to refresh it see our changes are instantly reflected again instead of this index.cshtml I am going to open one more view this privacy I just to opened it and let me go to the page privacy so instead of the privacy policy I am going to change the privacy settings okay just to save and I am trying to refresh the application 
so instantly our changes are reflected in the browser also okay great uh, we are now in the end of the session so i clearly explained how to create the application using this dotnet cli command and also do the changes using this uh, visual studio code and also the notepad so not only the visual studio code or notepad you can use any source code editor and the template point of view also i just selected mvc the similar way we can choose your own template still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel and one important information i want to convey to you people so recently we have enabled the membership nt friends so if you are joined this group you will get the instance response from the commands and also the mail so in my next video i am going to meet you all guys with one of the interesting topic thank you thanks for watching